Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We're still waiting. Uh, His Excellency Chief Person of the African Union Commission, His Excellency Musa Bakimon. Your Excellency, Dr. Monique, the Beauty Chairperson of the African Union Commission, represent His Excellency, Mr. Mustafa Ki Mohammed, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Excellencies, Commissioners at the African Union Commission, Your Excellency, Ms. Kadir Samson, EU Commissioner for Energy, Representative of the African Development Bank, Representative of the Audanibad, representative of the regional economic communities, representative of the development partner, the Scandwich participant, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Atif Marzu, acting director for infrastructure and energy at the African Union Commission. I will be moderator for this great session. I welcome you all this important event who formally launched the high anticipated Africa single electricity market AFSA. I am highly optimistic this high profile gathering would be the beginning of remarkable pathway to secure reliable and sustainable electricity future for our great continent. I do hope this session will greatly 
living way and the being and the bring about the recognition and the support is the successful realization and this is ambitious continental goals. It is my hope that you will have a fruitful session here today. Thank you. Let me share the agenda of the today meeting. We'll start by playing of the opening of the video. Please, Mr. Arjan, play the video. There is no sound in Belgium. The African Union has launched the African Single Electricity Market, AFSEM. Spanning the continent, it is set to become one of the largest in the world, helping provide modern energy to hundreds of millions of people. Despite its rich energy potential and the recent growth of installed generation capacity, Africa lags behind global energy trends. It remains at 3% of global installed capacity with very low electricity consumption per capita. 640 million Africans still lack access to electricity, most of them from rural areas where less than 27% of the population has access. The AFSIM aims to provide African households, businesses, and industries with more secure, sustainable, reliable, competitive, and affordable electricity. It is aligned with the African Continental Free Trade Area, which aspires to create a single market for goods and services to deepen economic integration. Since 2015, the African Union, with the support of the European Union, has been making efforts to harmonize Africa's regional electricity markets, culminating in the creation of the AFSEM. The policy paper, roadmap, and governance structure for the AFSEM were adopted by the African Union's heads of state and government on 7 February 2021. The AFSEM, which is expected to be fully operational by 2040, will provide a common energy governance system for the continent's interconnected electricity infrastructure, linking the five current regional power pools by way of a Continental Power Master Plan, a blueprint to enable seamless cross-border trade in electricity. Continental level governance is an opportunity for the energy transition in Africa. The economies of scale brought by the AFSEM, coupled with Africa's enormous potential for renewable electricity, will help leverage innovative solutions such as smart metering, smart grids, and automated distributed energy resources, making the AFSEM the most advanced electricity market in the world and a major player in the global green energy sector. The AFSEM is designed to bring greater energy security, sustainability, and competitiveness. It exemplifies the African Union's vision for an integrated and prosperous continent, enabling productive transformation, creating jobs, and fueling economic development so that no one is left behind.
Thank you. Next on the agenda is the opening remark by Her Excellency Dr. Amani Bouzier, Commissioner for Infrastructure and Energy of the African Commission. Your Excellency, the floor is yours. Thank you, Ati. Uh, Excellency, uh, Mr. Musafaki Mohammed, Chairperson of the African Union uh, Commission, ably represented by uh, Her Excellency Dr. Monit Sanstabarianwa, the Deputy Chairperson, uh, uh, Honorable Ministers, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, Commissioners, uh, Her Excellency Ms. Adri Simpson, the EU Commissioner for Energy, uh, uh, Excellencies, uh, Ambassadors, Representatives of African, uh, Regional uh, and uh, International Organizations, Partners and Friends, uh, Distinguished Participants, this is a fantastic day and I would like to formally uh, uh, acknowledge your presence and also uh, uh, express uh, how on uh, honored we all are with your uh, presence with us today in this very important event that is, you know, and ceremony, the launching of this fantastic project and program for uh, Africa and the world indeed. I mean, we're talking about the single electricity uh, market in Africa. Uh, this uh, a best way forward to, uh, uh, towards you know, a successful implementation of a roadmap for the uh, African energy self-sufficiency and uh, today marks you know this great achievement and a, a long journey that uh, we have been uh, having since so many years and I'm, I'm really honored and happy to say that we had a faithful companion and partner uh, throughout this journey uh, in the European Union who has been uh, accompanying us uh, throughout uh, till, uh, till today and I'm sure beyond. Uh, Despite the rich energy potential in our continent, uh, we are still lagging behind when it comes to uh, energy. About 655 million uh, Africans in, in rural and uh, urban Africa will continue to live without uh, el electricity if we do not really act now. In response, the African Union has stepped up it's in a continent-wide approach to address this challenge. Thus, the African Union Commission, uh, with the support of the European Union, forged a continental approach to electricity markets in Africa. We, be, we believe a fully harmonized single electricity market is an important tool in addressing Africa's energy challenge and many other challenges you know, in other sectors that are all supported by electricity. Realizing full potential of AFSIM depends also on putting in place robust electricity policy reforms to attract substantial investments that are needed for this major program. Thus, the AUC decided to pursue the harmonization of continental regulatory framework in the electricity sector with the overall support of the European Union uh, uh, and uh, to put a document that would be uh, and that was endorsed by uh, our heads of states in 2021. Uh, to this end, uh, we are uh, really happy that uh, to see that we are reaching this very important uh, milestone. And here I would like to uh, recognize the team of the African Union Commission who has been tirelessly working on this program for so many years, and particularly also remember and recognize uh, uh, Mr. Sheikh Bedda, who is the former director of the Department of Infrastructure, who uh, uh, personally uh, uh, a project and program uh, reaches the milestone we are witnessing today. That said, I also would like to uh, thank uh, our partners uh, uh, and companions, as I said, throughout the journey, uh, uh, Auda Nipad, uh, ADB, uh, uh, European Union, uh, the RECS, and so many partners and organizations, uh, uh, whether power pools and other who have been, uh, who have been uh, working with us. And this is really the, the, the launch today marks, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the the importance of the synergy and a partnership that we uh, all uh, have been, you know, forging and making sure that they are in place uh, for this, for the benefit and good of all, uh, all of all Africans. Uh, 
uh, allow me uh, before I uh, conclude, maybe to uh, take it upon myself also to uh, to uh, to thank you, not only to thank you all for the for your presence today, but to call on a Commissioner Kadri Simpson, who is, as I said, I mean, represents the European Union as Commissioner for Energy, and the EU has been working with us, uh, as I said, for this mega project till. Uh, uh, till it, I mean, the day that where we are today. So, uh, um, Commissioner Simpson, please, you have the floor. Thank you, Dr. Abu Said, uh, for your kind words. And um, <clears throat> good, uh, good afternoon from uh, Brussels. Your Excellency, Mr. Chairperson, uh, Your Excellency Commissioner, Vice President, I'm honored to be here today to support the launch of the Africa Single Electricity Market. Today marks a turning point for Africa. The African Union and its members uh, have shown strong political uh, will to develop a truly integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa enshrined in the Union's agenda 2063. Uh, the Africa Single Electricity Market will be an essential element of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. It will offer African industries, businesses and households uh, secure, competitive and affordable electricity. And all of this in a continental market serving 55 countries and 1.3 billion people. This is a valuable opportunity considering Africa's incredible renewable energy potential which uh, stands to benefit its people and uh, its economy. At the same time, uh, it can help improve energy security and reduce electricity prices for the consumers. In the European Union, we began our journey towards a single electricity market 25 years ago. A generation later, it is estimated that uh, EU market coupling stands to benefit European consumers for around 1 billion euro per year. Uh, so how did we get here? First, we introduced progressive liberalization of national energy systems. <clears throat> this separated grid operation from generation and distribution. By 2007, industrial and domestic consumers were free to choose their own gas and electricity suppliers creating the first wholesale energy markets. Uh, in 2009, we introduced um, the cornerstones of the internal energy market. First, mandatory national regulation, providing power producers with equal access to grid. Uh, second, uh, strong regional cooperation between national regulatory authorities through the dedicated agency. Third, strong coordination of um, creed operation, um, common investment plans and harmonized um, har harmonization of uh, standards uh, through the European network of TSOs. And fourth, we also introduced rules to increase transparency of electricity prices uh, for integrity of, of European energy markets. Uh, we have also worked uh, on uh, linking the energy infrastructure of our member states, the trans-European networks for energy. This uh, policy identifies strategic areas such as smart grids deployment or electricity highways to focus our action. It uh, identifies projects with an important regional integration perspective. With these so-called projects of common interest, we allocate the funding to help implement uh, the projects. A strong regulatory framework and optimized infrastructure development go hand in hand to ensure the system works efficiently and uh, that it uh, remains competitive so that it can deliver the lowest possible wholesale electricity price. Uh, with the Paris Agreement and more recently the launch of the European Green Deal at the start of the current Commission's mandate in 2019, our goal is for the EU to become climate neutral by 2050. And this implies a significant increase in renewables in the energy system by 
2030, the share of EU renewable electricity production is set to at least double from today's 32% to around 65% or more. Uh, electricity will become the most important energy carrier when we decarbonize our energy system. And it will be very much based on the most natural energy generators, the wind and the sun. Uh, that is why we put in place a clean energy package in 2019. It is the most advanced regulatory framework to date um, to adapt the European energy system to meet these challenges. And our electricity market is um, redesigned so that renewables can form the backbone of our electricity supply. And we have more flexibility to adapt um, to a larger share of uh, variable renewables, for example, through shorter trading times. But um, at the same time, more stability, integrating renewables into the general market framework with minimal to no derogations. And we have more cross border flows to make sure that uh, we use most efficient and least polluting power plants at any given time and uh, share renewable energies uh, over the larger area. This increases uh, competition by limiting capacity mechanisms and um, subsidies to fossil fuel plants. And last but not least, we have a stronger cooperation of uh, system operators to make sure the lights stay on in an ever more complex system. The clean energy package puts uh, the consumer first. With a drop um, in technology costs, consumers are becoming more and more active in producing, consuming, storing, and uh, selling their own electricity. And consumers are rewarded with uh, new opportunities to engage with the market directly or through energy communities. And uh, they are consuming um, energy more efficiently and cost effectively without um, compromising on comfort. And uh, by giving them space, these productive consumers, these prosumers, we call them, help us reach our uh, energy and climate targets. A strong focus uh, on the consumers is um, to me, also the main similarity of the European and African efforts. Energy communities is already a model developed in many African countries uh, that facilitate uh, the development of mini grids. And we are seeing uh, there many co benefits, such as uh, territorial cohesion and uh, local job creation and mobilizing private capital. And combined with a smart, decentralized uh, approach. Energy communities will be the key to Africa's energy access challenge in uh, rural areas. The design of the African single electricity market will benefit from uh, integrating on and off grid models, making use of technological and digital innovations such as smart metering. Uh, in this regard, dedicated and adequate supported measures for energy poor and uh, vulnerable customers are key. And our clean energy package includes uh, safeguard measures uh, that ensure universal service, including for customers in remote areas. And it allows price regulation for micro enterprises and as well um, as those in energy poverty. And our European single energy market is still in the making. It will continue to evolve to fit our needs, turning off them into the success it deserves to be uh, requires the political will and commitment that has enabled uh, the endorsement of the AFSEM uh, policy paper, uh, roadmap uh, and the um, governance structure by the African Union heads of states and government. And this means working together to prioritize regional infrastructure and back um, the much needed reforms to transform national electricity systems, to become fit for markets and um, giving space to cheap renewable energy sources. As AFSEM policy paper puts it, creating the AFSEM does not diminish uh, the energy sovereignty of uh, African Union member states. It uh, enshrines it. And I want to confirm the European Union's intention to remain a strong partner for Africa. The EU has um, long been supporting Africa's journey towards continental harmonization and integration of the electricity sector. The support has been possible, not least uh, with our technical assistant, uh, assist, assistance for sustainable energy. 
and currently we are working alongside Auda Nepad in the development of a continental power system as a plan to support the infrastructure development of Aksen. Uh, we are also supporting the program for infrastructure development in Africa. Here I congratulate the African Union for its recent adoption of second priority action plan for 2020-2030. In the past seven years, we have spent a total of 3 billion euros in grants in the energy sector in Africa. This has helped provide um, 18 million people with access to energy and has financed major infrastructure projects, including transmission lines and interconnections. And uh, we are now laying the groundwork for the next seven years with the aim of supporting greener and resilient development of the energy sector. We have a good opportunity um, to renew the strong partnership with the African Union at the next EU AU summit, which can take place in Brussels uh, next year, um, COVID allowing, of course. And uh, rest assured, you can count on our cooperation in the development of the African single electricity market. So let's help enrich the energy sovereignty of the AU member states with an impressive offset. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency Commissioner. Our next item of the agenda is a speech of Mr. Wally. Director, Energy Financial Solution Policy and Regulation Department of uh, the African Development Bank. After African Development Bank is our close partner in all initiative and has been supporting most of the African Union Commission activities, the floor is yours, uh, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Director Atef, uh, Your Excellencies, Honorable Commissioner of the African Union Commission for Infrastructure and Energy, Honorable Commissioner of the European Union for Energy, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Uh, thank you. Can you, can you, can you, can you please mute your microphones? Please mute your microphones. Thank you. Can you hear me? Can I continue? Okay, uh, thank you so much. Um, thank you for this invitation extended to the African Development Bank to participate in the launch of the Africa Single Electricity Market. It is an honor to be part of this historic event to launch such a transformative initiative. Um, unfortunately, Dr. Kevin Kariuki, our Vice President, um, is unavoidably absent uh, due to some pressing commitments, but he has asked me to deliver these opening remarks on his behalf and to send his heartfelt congratulations to the African Union Commission and all supporting partners for this great milestone. The um, Africa single electricity market is one of the tools that will strengthen the African continental free trade area. AFCFTA. Indeed, there is a strong need to accelerate Africa's regional integration, especially given the fact that the continent has the highest number of landlocked countries in the world and the lowest electricity access rates. Furthermore, Africa's disparate systems of regulations and tariffs have hampered the development of regional electricity infrastructure and pan-African energy trade. So the, the single electricity market is therefore a crucial step towards redressing this imbalance. As a member of the Continental Task Force and a premier supporter of the implementation of AFCFTA, the African Development Bank is committed towards working with partners, and regional member countries to take advantage of the positive momentum created by the Africa Treaty free trade area to deepen trade of energy products and services between African countries and regional economic communities, as well as global partners. A consistent and coordinated approach towards addressing 
key regional energy infrastructure bottlenecks, such as regional interconnections, combined with harmonized policy and regulatory frameworks will be required in order to achieve a fully integrated, competitive and efficient electricity market in Africa. Through the action plans of the AU Commission's Program for Infrastructure Development in Africa, PETA and other special initiatives, a solid framework is being established to coordinate, aggregate and channel stakeholder support for priority infrastructure projects at a continental level. As the executing agency for PETA, the African Development Bank will continue to support uh, these uh, initiatives. In the area of regulation, the bank is working hard to ensure that regional and national regulators are equipped with the relevant tools to harmonize regulatory frameworks across various regions and to remove bottlenecks to regional trade. The bank is also supporting the ongoing efforts to develop a continental power system master plan. Also worthy of note is the fact that um, the single electricity market provides an excellent opportunity to better coordinate our approach towards Africa's transition to green sustainable growth. In pursuit of this objective, the bank is participating in the COP26 Energy Transition Council, uh, which is a global platform for the development of integrated and resilient power systems, which are crucial for post COVID-19 economic recovery, inclu inclusive socioeconomic development and decarbonization. So noting all of these synergies, the AU's continental energy sector initiatives, we are committed towards working to bring all our partners together to establish a working group under the Green Grids Initiative to facilitate closer collaboration with COP26 Energy Transition Council. The bank will also support uh, efforts towards speedy operationalization of the Africa single electricity market and other related continental and regional initiatives as we strive towards achievement of universal access to electricity in Africa. So with these few words, I'd like to thank you for your kind attention and wish you a successful launch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wally, uh, for your kind words. As the next item on the program is a speech of by Dr. Tuela, representative of Audanipad. Audanipad has been contributing, is making this goal become reality since from the beginning. The floor is yours, Dr. Tuela. Thank you very much, um, Director Azaf. Um, Your Excellency, Deputy Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Dr. Nsaza Bangama, Your Excellency, Commissioner for Infrastructure and Energy, Dr. Amani Abu Said, Your Excellency, the European Commissioner for Energy, Mrs. Kadri Simmons, distinguished representatives from the African Development Bank, from other regional institutions, regional economic communities, development partners, as well as um, member states, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and all protocols observed. So I'm delivering this speech on behalf of um, His Excellency, Dr. Ibrahim Mayaki, CEO of the African Union Development Agency, who could not um, be with us today. Um, and on his behalf, allow me to start by congratulating indeed um, the African Union Commission and in particular Commissioner Abu Zaid um, for this um, auspicious um, event. Um, Commissioner, your leadership um, has been very critical in, in us reaching um, this significant milestone today, and it's important for us to honor and acknowledge that. As the development arm of the um, AU and uh, working there to keep priority regional and continental projects, AED and EPAD welcomes the launch of the African single electricity market, which is coming at the right time when Africa is determined to eradicate energy poverty in Africa. AFSAM will arguably be one of the largest, if not the largest um, interconnected um, electricity grid, as well as the largest um, intra-regional um, power trading um, system in the world. And we expect that this will guarantee secure, reliable, affordable, and sustainable electricity supply 
to enhance the economic um, prospects of Africa. We know that from the first to the fourth industrial revolutions, energy has been at the center of new discoveries and new innovations. And we expect that now, as we are in the fifth industrial revolution, access to electricity will continue to be key in propelling a new era of socioeconomic development that closes the gap between the rich and the poor, and that will create opportunities for our youth and for a prosperous Africa. We take comfort in the fact that the prices of renewable energy are on a continuous and favorable decline, especially regarding solar, wind, and geothermal, which makes the prospect of an energy revolution um, possible. We hope that AFSEM will therefore increase investments into sustainable energy and increase opportunities for Africa to reach its economic potential much faster and improve the living standards, healthcare, education, commerce, and industry on the continent. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, the African single electricity market can only be realized with a well-coordinated and highly articulated energy transmission master plan. And to this effect, AED and NEPAD has been working, as has already been alluded to, in collaboration and guided um, by the AUC, uh, with other partners in designing a continental transmission master plan. To date, we have commitments in excess of $8 million from various agencies, including the European Union, the African Development Bank, the International Atomic Energy Agency, the International Renewable Energy Agency, that are supporting the development of the continental transmission master plan. And we also have commitments um, in the region of about $70 million from other agencies towards this plan as well. We have already started um, working on the uh, master plan. In 2020, a baseline study um, was completed and we are now looking at other components of the master plan, focusing on capacity building, supply and demand modeling, as well as specific studies that are looking at um, renewable energies, as well as industrialization and value chains. Together with the African Development Bank and the World Bank, we are working with the regional economic communities such as ECAS um, in, in terms of strengthening the Central African Power Pool, as well as um, working with the Northern African Power Pool um, to bring their um, power pools to the same level as other regions, um, towards the realization of the master plan and indeed AFSEM itself. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as has already been mentioned, I think by the two previous speakers, um, the PIDA private action plan um, has been adopted by our heads of states and we have now embarked on implementation of the 69 projects that are in the current um, pipeline. This implementation is based on an integrated corridor approach that supports the development of bankable projects that are inclusive and support a multi-sector approach to economic development. Considering that a lot of our countries um, are significantly affected by having um, low energy access, and especially in the rural areas, we need to devise a holistic approach within the AFSEM to stimulate the bankability of microgrid projects through frameworks and incentives that would enhance private sector investment. In closing, um, allow me on behalf of Dr. Mayaki to echo my gratitude to the African Union Commission for its leadership, to the regional economic communities, to the power pools for their cooperation and support in the development of the master plan, and to the various partners that are playing a significant role um, in the development of the master plan, notably the EU, the African Development Bank, the International Atomic Energy Agency, as well as the various um, power pools. The launch of the ASSEM is a significant milestone in Africa's journey towards energy security, and we look forward to being a part of its successful implementation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Twila. The next item on the agenda is call for expression of support to AFSIM from member state and RICS. I would like to give the floor to member state and RICS to express their interest for championing this great continental initiative. You can use uh, at the bottom of the screen in the middle 
reaction to raise your hand for your contribution, for your intervention. Thank you. Floor is open to member state and BRICS. Okay, thank you. We'll go to the last uh, agenda item. Uh, and the most important item on the agenda is the keynote speech and the official launching of the absent by Her Excellency, Dr. Monique, deputy chairperson of the African Union Commission and representing the chairperson, Mr. Musa Faki Mohammed, the chairperson of the African Union Commission your Excellency, with much due respect, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Excellencies and commissioners, um, dear sister, uh, Commissioner Dr. Amani, uh, Excellency, um, Commissioner Simpson, um, Excellencies, ambassadors, um, heads of institutions, um, Your Excellency, and Wale representing the Vice President of the ADB, and uh, also um, Kawela uh, representing uh, Dr. Mayaki. I greet you also Executive Secretary of the UN Economic Commission for Africa, and other friends from UNDP, UNIDO, and um, other representative uh, development partners here, here present. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted uh, and grateful um, for your presence today with us to witness the launch of one of um, African Union high priority initiatives, that is the Africa single electricity market. On behalf of the chairperson who could not uh, make it to this um, uh, program uh, because of um, other prior commitments, I wish to welcome you, to thank you for your participation and for your support to this great initiative as uh, it um, rolls out. I'm uh, advised that the ultimate goal of um, the AFSIM is to achieve an interconnected market, one with convergent wholesale electricity prices across the continent. Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, electricity, as we all know, is the key driver and prerequisite for Africans' well being, for economic growth of our economies, for ensuring modern health and education services for promoting industrialization and digitalization and for creating employment for our rapidly growing youthful population. The electricity supply value chain provides multiple entry points and pathways for advancing Africa's transformative agenda 2063 green economy, resilient and smart post-COVID-19 economic recovery 
and sustainable continental, regional, and national socioeconomic development. I take this opportunity to thank you so much, uh, Commissioner Simpson, for uh, sharing an inspiring uh, experience of the European Union and uh, how we have gone about uh, implementing uh, a, a, an initiative uh, which uh, we are, are here ready to emulate uh, in our own context. Our teams at the commission have been and still are working around the clock in collaboration with the, you or our partners, global and continental stakeholders to implement programs that harness Africa's abundant energy resources to ensure modern, efficient, reliable and sustainable energy for all African households, businesses, industries and institutions. AFSEM launch is an important milestone which took us long to reach. Yet the biggest test is going to be in its implementation. The beginning of the implementation stage and the success of AFSEM depend on the political will and commitment of AU member states. We will therefore solicit your excellencies, the Minister for Energy here present to fully support the operationalization of the single electricity market. In the same vein, we call all on all our member states and our regional economic communities to mainstream AFSEM and Continental Power Master Plan into their national and regional development plans. It is important that our African countries take ownership in the development and implementation of this continental initiative. We also count on AFSEM governance organs to spearhead a robust advocacy campaign to popularize and sensitize the public and investors on the unique opportunity that Af uh, AFSEM offers for the development of uh, African economies and citizens. Needless to say, AFSEM implementation stage needs to be supported strategically, technically, and financially. We therefore call upon Africa's friends and partners to continue lending their support to this initiative going forward. I would like here to take this opportunity to particularly thank the European Union for being our close partner in this major project since its inception in 2015. Our thanks also go to our development partners, such as the African Development Bank, the World Bank, KFW, the European Investment Bank, and the Afrexim Bank and others. Your continued support will be needed to help expedite the implementation of AFSEM. Finally, I would like to reiterate the commitment of the African Union to fast track this important continental initiative. And with these remarks, I'm deeply honored to officially launch the Africa single electricity market. And I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Excellency, VHU Chairperson. By announcing of launching of uh, a single Africa electricity market, the meeting was closed. Uh, thank you, Excellency. Thank you, participant, for active participation. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank and you. congratulations. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. Energy department is uh, a very good effort and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Atif. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Mohammedin. Congratulations, Mr. Mazu. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Maji. Thank you. Thank you. Atif. Congratulations. We continue the job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tela. Congratulations. Mr. Mazouk, remember we are still here. Sure. <laughs> Talk about the sure, Mr. Madi. Sure, Mr. Madi. Thank and you. Of course. Thank you. Congratulations from Rera, Atif. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Con uh, director, uh, congratulations from my Carol. Thank Barry you. Kashami. Thank you very thank you very much, Mr. Berry. Thank you. I come. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jeff, congratulations from SAP. Thank you. Thank you, SAP. Thank you. Mr. Stephen. Congratulations, SAP. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, thank you Prof. Bye. Bye.